In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a very simple um, script I've written, and this is the GitHub repository uh, for it. Now, um, I'm currently undergoing a higher education certification process, and at the moment, we, we've spent a bit of time looking at issues of inclusivity and diversity. So when it comes to inclusivity uh, of note writing, sorry, of, of, of distributing notes and teaching materials, for example, certain students, um, which are perhaps, uh, for, uh, who suffer perhaps from dyslexia, might not be able to read um, standard notes, and they might like to, to change the, the font colors, the background colors, uh, make the font bigger and things like that. Now, as a mathematician, um, when you write notes in, in LaTeX, you don't really have that as an option. Um, you, it is the, the, the way to distribute mathematical notes, um, and they, they, they come out through PDF. So the immediate thought that I gave to this was, well, I can give students the, the LaTeX code um, because they can then modify it, change it, um, make it easier to, um, uh, to read. But of course, that's not necessarily inclusive, as not all um, students at all levels uh, know LaTeX. So um, I subsequently found out about Pandoc, which is a, an amazing tool um, um, that um, allows you to, to, um, to go from certain uh, formats to, to others, documents in certain formats to others. For example, uh, Markdown, which is, which is very nice, can go to HTML, um, RST, and various other things, LaTeX, HTML5, um, some HTML5 things. Docx even so we'll even go to a Word document, and um, and it's 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 really great. So so I started using that. I'd write my notes in Markdown, and uh, my notes, my exercises in Markdown, and I would use Pandoc to create a PDF, to create a Word document, and to create HTML, which is nice because I can just have it on the web on the web then. Um, but it it was getting. I'd have to you know go quite fast at at my, at my bash to, to change every single file and output every single um, thing and that's when I've uh, written a very short um, little Python script that basically will will take all the markdown files of a particular directory and it will create a PDF, a Word document and an HTML file so let me just, and, and that's what this is the github directory for so let me just uh, demonstrate that so pandocify, pandocify which is where I am um, creates the readme file for the uh, github repository the, the Python file and a, and a demo. Um, so if I go to the demo, it's just test.md in there. If I take a look at that, um, just a little bit of mathematics, and you see Pandoc is quite nice because Pandoc uses a version of Markdown that allows for, for LaTeX. So I got a bit of mathematics in there. Um, let me create another one, um, another document. Um, Pandoc is awesome. This script obviously requires Pandoc uh, to work. And then if I um, just run it on this directory, it works on other tests. Now it's working on test. PDF is the one that creates, takes the longest time to, to work. So now if I open up test.html, um, you see it's all there. I'm using WebTech. You could go into the Python script and, and change it to, to use MathJax and whatnot. But WebTech just creates a creates PNGs of all the mathematics. It seems to be the most robust way of doing this. Um, open the PDF. PDF just uses LaTeX, so obviously that just, just works. And uh, finally, if we open up the, um, the Word document. Now this actually impressed me slightly that it somehow knows how to speak to Word and puts in the actual uh, equation editor for, for the equations. Um, and that's um, that's that. So it's it's a nice little script. I'm going to use it a lot um, to to just uh, be able to qu quickly change all the notes um, in my in my directories. But but I'm sure there are, there are better ways of doing this, um, uh, and in particular, uh, better ways of making inclusive notes so that students can can read them. Um,